Hello everybody and welcome back to another unofficial Windows version video. Yes, we're doing yet another one of these, two in a row, right? Um, but today's is actually going to be very, very interesting and that is because the, this unofficial Windows version is called Windows XP 10 Edition. Uh, it's a very, very interesting name and basically what it is from what that I gather from the name is it's a version of Windows XP designed to look like Windows 10. So if you guys saw my make Windows XP look like Windows 10 video that I did a couple of weeks ago, I guess that this is basically just somebody taking that idea. I mean, I'm not saying that they saw my video because this was made before that I uploaded my uh, video, uh, you know, showing you how to make XP look like Windows 10. But this is basically just taking that idea and putting it into a custom OS so where you won't have to actually modify anything. It'll just be modified for you. So you'll see that here we are at the first um, portion of the installation and right up at the top there we have a beautifully off-centered copying files Windows XP 10 edition 2017. Uh, we already have some English, so another great sign. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, unpartitioned space, we're going to go ahead and install it on that. We're going to format using the NTFS quick method because we are in a VM. Setup is formatting XP10. Well, actually it's not. It's formatting the hard drive that's then going to install XP10 on, but it would honestly be a bad thing if it was formatting the CD right now. That that wouldn't be very good. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, this already looks like it's going to be very, very interesting. Copying files, Windows XP 10, down there at, at the bottom. Beautiful, once again. So, at this moment, I don't know the author of who made this. I'm wondering if it's uh, that, you know, Computer Worm Corporation or the uh, Computer Media Team, whatever it was, over in Pakistan. We've dealed with a couple of their unofficial Windows versions before. I wonder if this one is uh, made by them as well. So this ISO comes in at 700 megabytes, basically maxes out a CD. Now, just for reference, regular XP with Service Pack 3 installed, you know, on a CD, like the CD setup image, is 600 megabytes. So this one is 100 more megabytes than just plain vanilla XP Service Pack 3. So also, slight little modification, they got rid of the, uh, you know, this computer will restart in 15 seconds. And check this out, it is made by the Computer Media Corporation. Uh, they have modified the boot screen, as they usually do in these. And uh, let's just take a look at the glory that we're about to see, because I guarantee you this is just mod- Oh yeah, check that. <laughs> so it's not- Definitely not as uh, much stuff, because some of these other ones that they've, they've made, they just got so much stuff on the screen here. Um, actually looks kind of nice. We've got Windows XP 10 edition up here at the top. We got their uh, logo down here and some names that uh, I I assume are, are, are people on the CM team. Um, so we've taken a look at these people, this uh, computer media team, whatever that you want to say, uh, also made XP Gold, 7 Gold, um, Windows 7, Batman v Superman. I mean, it's <laughs> the weirdest one that I've ever seen. Um, they've made a, a, a lot of these. I guess it's just what they do. I don't know if this is like just a group of modders or, I mean, I don't think it's a real company. I mean, because Microsoft would probably be after them if they were trying to sell this, you know. Um, but yeah, so this is, the, this is another CM team or computer media, computer worm team. Uh, edition of Windows. So what's cool about these is they usually include um, automated setups to where you, there basically won't be a lot of user input. They have tools that will just go through it for you. So we're going to be seeing uh, if that is what's going on here. So yeah, it looks like they haven't changed any of the actual text here, you know, like the default Windows text that is here, but they have changed the uh, background. And honestly, like I said, doesn't look too bad. It looks uh, pretty, pretty decent. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just let it copy everything over and I will come back once we are at the next portion of the setup. All right, so here we have another major sign. This is an unofficial Windows version and that is this freeskycd.cn gold driver setup that popped up during the uh, setup process here. It's done this automatically and it's basically looks like it's installing some drivers right now. So you see that it just went through uh, that setup right there. All automated, as I said, the setup has not asked me for any like um, user input things like my name or my region or my keyboard. It hasn't asked me for any of that. Uh, I don't think that, that it's going to because I think that we're way past that at the moment here. It's on uh, registering components. So and yeah, there we go. We are almost done. It's uh, removing any temporary files used. And now I assume we're going to restart 
And if this program or if this OS has any third party programs to install, it's probably going to do that right about now once we restart. All right, so it says please wait. It looks like it may actually start to load the out of box experience, but we will see. And there we go. So they've changed the logon screen here. It looks like there's no out of box experience. It just says Windows 10 down here. They have Windows 7 or Windows Vista and 7 sounds, although that startup sound is still available in uh, Windows 10 if you enable it. Supplying our personal settings. So yeah, they've, they've definitely modified uh, the welcome screen. Honestly, it looks pretty nice. Uh, I see that they're that they're going for that flat theme that Windows 10 has, so that's pretty awesome. And here we go. Here is our auto installer. So, like usual, we have a ton of random programs in here. Most of these are just going to be tools. You see, we've got like Ultra ISO, GOM Player, 7-Zip. Um, I guess when you mouse <laughs> when you mouse over Auto Run Virus, whatever that is, it just <laughs> It comes up with this like huge pop-up, so that's kind of interesting. Um, we've got Skype, uh, Internet Download Manager, Chrome, um, ME Admin, uTorrent, uh, and we got some games as well, uh, Bubble Match, Jewel Quest, and Scuba Steve. So we're just going to select all of them, why not, and uh, we'll click Begin Install, and it comes up with our Windows Post Install Wizard. Now, this is something that I'm sure that you guys have seen before if you've seen some of my other unofficial Windows versions videos. Usually, this is something that, that happens if there's any sort of third-party program. Some of them do have this automated uh, installer, which is pretty nice. The only problem is, I, I assume, and you know we don't know for sure, but I assume that some of these programs are going to be pirated. Uh, and I'm for certain that the uh, that the Windows version is uh, cracked. It's you know not going to be genuine. And as I always say in these videos, that is something that uh, I want to highly emphasize: is that you're doing this if you find and install this on a secondary machine, you're basically doing it at your own risk. And I wouldn't really recommend it because you never really know what's going to be in this. You, you never know what these people are going to put um, into the OS. They could have put malware or they could have put viruses or spyware or malicious software in the system. Uh, and I've had a lot of people um, ask me about that. And that's just why that I generally don't recommend that you use any of these unofficial uh, Windows versions at all. Um, I just do these videos because I find them, you know, fun to do. I think it's fun to, you know, take a look at these. And I'm, I'm just doing this for the educational and the entertainment value. So I just want to, you know, highly emphasize that so you guys keep that in mind. Um, but it's, uh, oh, so we've got some custom sounds as well. I've actually heard that sound before. I think that might have been in uh, another uh, Windows version that I took a look at. Um, but it's going through and it's setting up all of these applications automatically. So it's already completed uh, 7-Zip, uh, Autovirus Remover, WinRAR, GOM Player. It's, it's done all this stuff already. Right now it's on Google Chrome. So a lot of this it just does in the background and the stuff that will show up, it just basically you know, presses next, 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 like it just sets all the options up. But I mean, let's go in here. Ultra ISO, I know is a paid program and see Chrome is opening up for, for some reason. I think this is just like what happens when you install Chrome. So this is generally not supposed to happen. It's not supposed to open up a web browser before Explorer even opens up. So we'll just close out of Chrome here. And uh, IDM has been successfully integrated into Internet Explorer. We'll click OK. And there we go. Wow, this actually looks uh, this looks pretty decent. We've got a, a, a Windows 10 theme going on. We've got some icons. It looks like we're still not done yet. It's still uh, running a couple of scripts here. Um, this is the Internet Download Manager. That's what that IDM was. So that's been integrated into Internet Explorer, which uh, actually might be pretty cool if you want to use Internet Explorer, which I don't know why you would. <laughs> um, Skype is opening up. We'll go ahead and just get out of IE8 here. So right off the bat, you can see all of the third party programs that they have installed. They've also applied a custom icon pack, which is pretty nice. Um, and we have like this flyout animation when you open up a uh, program, it kind of just throws the icon randomly across the screen, which is kind of cool. Um, so there's that. Inside of my computer here, they have customized the uh, hard drive icon. Let's see how much space this has taken up. So we're taking up about 4.11 gigabytes. Now, regular XP is uh, it takes up one and a half gigs. So they are using about three gigs more um, than regular XP. And that's obviously because of all these other programs. Um, 
they have set up the default user account as CM Team PK. Uh, it, it again didn't ask me for any user input for my username or my password or anything like that. We can obviously set that up later if we want to. Uh, we still have the um, XP Explorer sounds and all of the icons in the control panel have not been changed. And the taskbar uh, and the start menu, I mean the taskbar especially, they're definitely going for that Windows 10 look. Um, in the start menu, it still looks more like the XP start menu layout wise, but design wise I can see that they're definitely trying to go for that Windows 10 look. They've uh, removed the um, user name and the icon from the start menu like it is in Windows 10. If we go to all programs, you can see in here there's a Windows 10 skin pack. So this is what they're using most likely to, uh, you know, have this whole Windows 10 skin. We've got Super Copier. Let me just go ahead into Ultra ISO. I guarantee you this is cracked. Yep, so... This product is authorized to UW Madison Executive Education, so I assume that they've got uh, they've got something, you know, uh, some sort of uh, license in here. So yeah, that that program definitely could have been cracked. Uh, UTorrent Pro is definitely a paid piece of software, um, so. I assume that this has been cracked as well. Yeah, generally, and this is another reason why that I don't recommend using any of these is because they usually contain pirated software. So that's just another reason why that you don't want to use uh, this. I mean, I wouldn't use this on my main computer ever, so I'm just letting you guys know I don't recommend using any of these. So let's go ahead and uh, and run Winver here because I am kind of kind of want to see if they modified that. Actually, they haven't. This actually looks almost identical to the regular Windows XP Winver. I mean, obviously, like, the theme is different, but it's still, they haven't changed this, uh, this banner up here like some of them usually do. They obviously have their own branding here, but everything else here is exactly the same. Uh, when we go into My Computer Properties, this they have modified. Uh, Windows XP 10 Edition Professional Version 2017. Um, Windows XP 10 Edition 2017. Uh, they've got their logo down there. Um, so there you go. Uh, that is the system properties window. Um, let's just go ahead and browse into the C drive here. So they've gotten rid of the like warning message, you know, that warns you not to go into the C drive and you have to click, you know, show these files. Uh, they've gotten rid of that. Uh, here's the programs files folder. They've definitely applied a custom icon pack for the folders as well. Let's go ahead into the Windows folder and see if that takes effect. Um, yeah, it actually does. There's a lot of, um, uh, custom icons mainly on these folders here some of these even look like Windows 7 icons like this right here is a Windows 7 icon so that's that's kind of interesting uh, we've got this uh, language switcher we can switch between English and Romanian so there's that we do have this MRT system protection auto run virus remover to pretend to prevent any viruses from USB drives so I guess this is a tool that will scan a, uh, a USB drive to um, see if it has any sort of malware on it. That's actually a pretty nice feature. So definitely, uh, definitely very nice. I personally haven't heard of this software before, but I mean, let me know, guys, if this is actually a reputable piece of software down uh, in the comments below. Um, I don't see the games though. It looks like they have gotten rid of the games, which is an interesting. Of course, I guess that they, since they bundled those three games, what Scuba Steve, Jewel Quest, and whichever other one, Bubble Match. I guess they just decided not to bundle the regular XP game, so that's kind of uh, unfortunate. So, I mean, there you have it, guys. That is essentially a very, very brief look at Windows XP 10 Edition. Again, a very, very interesting concept here. Now, obviously, I would recommend if you want to make your um, Windows XP installation look like Windows 10, just follow my guide that I've got up here in the cards right now as it uses a transformation pack. It's not a whole like separate OS, you know, where we don't know what's going to be in here. So I would I would recommend following that guide if you want to make Windows XP look like Windows 10. But this is still something pretty neat uh, to take a look at. They've definitely done a, a, a decent job at trying to make Windows XP look like Windows 10. Obviously, that's the goal of this whole thing, being named Windows XP 10 Edition. So guys, that's going to go ahead and end it off for, for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this one, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever that I upload a new video, which I do every single week on this channel. 
And also be sure to drop me a comment down below letting me know any thoughts that you have about this particular unofficial Windows version or if you guys have any other um, future suggestions for future videos as I always enjoy reading what you guys have to say. And as always, I just want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.